Good morning. It is 5.15 a.m. We are looking at a pretty chilly 5 degrees out there. In here is 41 right now. I woke up about an hour ago and kind of took my time getting out of bed. At an hour ago, it was 10 degrees outside and 11 degrees inside. And I'm pretty cozy in that sleeping bag. It's the only thing that might get cold is my head or face. So you could I'll bury my face right in the pillow and a lot of times I'll wear a winter hat to bed. Last time, I, last night, I forgot to put my winter hat on, so I did wake up once from it. Temps dropping pretty hard. It was about 25 or so when I went to sleep. As the sun comes up, the temp actually drops a lot up here. I wouldn't be surprised if we're not looking at five below or so by the time we start setting traps. So far, no wind, fingers crossed. We're supposed to get some ripping wind today you know up in the it's supposed to be blowing mid 30s i guess so we're gonna have to be careful and be strategic where we fish coffee started it's not perking yet i threw some hash browns in the pan with a couple links of sausage to some maple sausage so i'm gonna try that and drive that right into me this morning maybe throw an egg or two in there too and start the day off with a good breakfast and i think i'm gonna need it today camp was awesome last night this place is just so cozy once you get it the way you like it and it's pretty much the way I like it right now really looking forward to a good day of ice fishing we are going to probably target brookies a lot of mainers call them just trout you know even though we have lake trout brown trout rainbow trout and brook trout we call the lakers here togue t-o-g-u-e togue and we call the brookies just trout so if somebody says we're going to go for trout or we're trout fishing that means we're going for brookies. Even though you have the other ones, you just discard the other ones because the only, oh, she's perking. She's perking pretty hard. Because the only ones that matter in the state are the brook trout. This lake here cha and Chamberlain, you have the chance of catching a five to six pound trout. You know, maybe over six, I don't know, but a lot of my viewers have sent me really good pictures or have told nice stories about catching their biggest trout ever at a Chamberlain Lake and it was five and a half, five pounds. So five pound trout is some good fish. You're talking over 20 inches, sometimes close to 24 inches or so. That's, that's a monster for a brook trout. State record Maine, I believe is still holding right at eight pounds or eight pounds, two ounces, which oh, can't even imagine that. That might get broken pretty soon out of Moosehead, to be honest with you. They've been popping some big ones out of Moosehead over seven pounds. Next lake we go to might actually be Moosehead Lake. I'm excited to fish with the boys today. These guys are diehards and they're really good at, at ice fishing. They know what they're doing. They, they have the right gear and they have the right mindset to handle a tough situation like this, which is why I really like fishing with them. And we, we hit it off right from the start. So I got She's probably an hour before I got to meet them. I'll take my time eating breakfast. I'll pack up all my gear. I don't have the sled packed with the gear I'm going to bring yet, so I'll pack that up and just kind of ease my way up to them as the morning goes on. Say those are about done. <laughs> well, let's see what we got for eggs. It doesn't look great in this box. <laughs> I had a little accident coming out. Ooh, all right. So, can I salvage anything there? Nope. That one. That one will salvage. This one's cracked. Let's see. Nope. She's a goner. That one we could salvage. Beautiful. We got a couple eggs out of it. Come on.
tonight. Breakfast is looking good. Now I got my regular Frank's Red Hot, which I throw that on just about everything. You can wind it right to it, but I brought the good stuff this trip. <laughs> this is, I get this stuff at my buddy's store over in Whitefield at Sheepscot General. There's a guy, I guess, in Whitefield, Maine that makes this. It's called Ballstown Heat. And she's got some heat and a little bit of this goes a long way. Bottle of that, if you're used to Frank's, will last quite a while. So it's made from several different peppers of different heat, I guess. So hopefully we can get in there. Looks like it froze up, up in the nozzle. Oh, got a little to come out. Now it's good and smoky and that might have been too much actually that I just put on there now. <laughs> I didn't put a lot on there because it wasn't coming out too good. But that'll put some heat to you. All right, let's take a look at what it looks like out there today. Oh, geez, we've got a pretty decent amount of snow. Okay, I'm all packed up. Got everything. Temp just dropped down to three, so we're on a pretty steady decline. It's gonna hit some negatives today. I'm wearing the Eskimo clothing because it's definitely warmer than the other stuff I have. You know, the if if we're gonna get wet, I don't like to wear the wool if I have something like this or a raincoat. Um, the bibs are definitely heavier and they're made for colder temperatures than the, the clams I was wearing. So, so far this stuff's been like ultra warm and it's going to be a, a cold day. I, I put the rubber boots on, they're not as warm as my leather boots because we might be fishing in slush and if you're standing in slush all day, there's nothing you can do about keeping boots, uh, leather boots dry. So we should be good to go. I'm going to warm up the sled for a little while and head her down lake and see the boys. Like that. What's up? Hey! Oh, wake up! Oh, <laughs> no better than that. Couldn't kick that guy out of here again last night. <laughs> no. These jackies are gonna have a five pounder on us, Joe. Should be a long ride. Is it? I gotta get my mask figured out. It had a lot of air coming into it. It wasn't gonna fog up, but my face might have froze up. I 
might be a little big for brookies, but we're going for big brookies. Five pounder. Eat that like a chick that. That'll be nicely for that eight pound lake we're gonna catch too. I agree. Five pounder to eat that like a tic tac. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. What we have here, this is this is the state famous Chamberlain parking lot right here. This is where you can leave your campers if you're going to come up and ice fish, and you got access to several different lakes. So usually this thing's jam packed full, and there's no room. And they used to call it the dance. Was the day that you had to put your stuff in was the dance because everybody would be lined up out on this logging road and you had to get a number I think it was like first come first serve or might have been a drawing I can't even remember and guys would come up and wait till midnight and then the day you were allowed to put them in people would put them in on their camping numbers and you try to get a better spot but I can't even believe this it's about half empty up here now so maybe that's indicative of fishing maybe there's just better opportunities other parts of the state I don't know but it's not full anymore but a lot of good times have been had in this parking lot by a lot of a lot of good ice fishermen and then in deer season there'll be some campers in here too but there's no deer up here anymore which is kind of a shame because they cut all the winter in yards right out most of the campers up here never leave the woods so that's why you'll see these roofs on top of them just about all these campers have a have a V roof on them to, for the snow because the snow load will get pretty good up here. It's it's a little bit different weather situation than it is in other parts of the Maine. Pretty tropical, ain't it? Love it, oh yeah. Well, we made it out here, guys. It is pretty rugged yet. It's blowing hard. We're kind of leeward over here. The other side of the lake's eating a lot more wind. But I'm gonna hold this thing till we get it screwed down because we don't want to lose it. Mark's over there screwing it down. But she is ripping out here, guys. The ride out, oh, we must have come 10, 12 miles down lake. And the ride out was pretty rugged. We held her right around 50, 50, 60 miles an hour. You know they make a tool you can put in your drill? I know. Brandon's wife, if you're watching this, Christmas, you don't have to wait till Christmas. I know what he needs. Wow, look at the lake down there, huh? She's awful. Oh yeah, daddy, yeah. <laughs> we got tons of propane, let him be safe. Let's make sure it's working. What do you think, fellas? That'll melt the dust off you beaver, Joe. <laughs> Sweet, we are set up. That's about six and a half foot deep there. Not a bad range for brookies. I got it set about halfway down, right in the middle of the water column. Fishing smelts today, pretty good size smelts. Uh, I wanna get one shallow or I'm afraid of dinging my blades up, but I wouldn't mind getting one ultra shallow and then a couple deeper, you know, fish these brookies out to 12, 15 foot. That's usually the lucky trap. It's got the main flag on it. Right. Let's see what we got for depth here. Oh, about five here.
Okay, got this one set. This one I got. the shore or the water or the rocks and they'll drive bait right into there. So I usually fish brookies pretty shallow. You can get more numbers shallow. Now, as far as the big one goes, I don't know if you're gonna get a, a giant in a foot and a half, two foot of water, but you might. So that's why I like to set it. So whereas we got five lines, I'll jig. We might, one of us will put four. I might put four, I might do five but I'll, I'll be able to switch different depths and try it out. I'll probably fish these brookies from about two foot to 12 foot. We got about seven and a half there. That's what we're using for bait today, smelts. They're, uh, they're real finicky. You gotta be careful where you hook them and how long you have them out of the, the water. So I'm not gonna mess around too much. good we are set up i like it i bet you i got a flag up already let's go check all right we got a high flyer first trap i set she's rolled she ain't rolling right now but she has rolled in here 20 I just had a chub I think on mine probably froze up on the water yeah building ice now I think she'll make some ice tonight <laughs> yeah. well we got a flag but we can't see what's going on because because of that Unless he's wrapped up, it's big. Okay. It's real big. It's like, what? It's got to be all log. Yeah, you're right. But there's a fish there too. Oh, yeah. He's fighting against that log. It's definitely wrapped up. I don't want to break it. That's a brookie that's wrapped up. I think it's a brookie wrapped up on a log, don't you? Yeah. He's actually moving at it. No oh, it's right here. There's a stick right here. See it? Oh, okay. Uh, can Hold you on. grab that skimmer? My hook, my line's on this side of it. Let me know if you want me to let her down. Or... Try to work it that way, find the end of it. Yeah, if we can get to the end of it. I can give you some more slack. I hate to reach down there on a day like today. I know. I might end up doing it. Can you scoop that junk out of there? Just so I can see what's going on? Get my jacket off here. I don't know if there's a fish still on it though. Just so we can see what's going on. Barely. It's a good thing there's we, we could poke a couple holes. Good thing there's not a lot of ice, that's all I can say. You're an animal. Let me know if you want me to let out some line. Oh, I'm letting out a lot of line. There you go. There you go. Fish on the jaw. Stick still. Are we on an end of the stick? I can okay. see. Oh, I got that. Can you just break the stick? Any... Oh, oh, nice, oh, nice brookie. 
All right, let's get the brookie back down. I'm glad we got that oh, on video. Hey, 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 let me, oh. Yeah, I was just trying to. Oh my God, look how big oh. this stick. I want to get that brookie in the water. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, let's, let's work on unraveling them. A day like today, it's way too cold to keep him out. Yep, yep. Good on the hands, though. Man, that flag just went up, too. Oh, yeah, I just came out here and looked. He had a, you got a mess going. That's why it's important to have a pretty good line. Yep. He's, he's got a wrap right there. Thanks for reaching in there, bud. Oh, I'm gonna get him. Yeah, we don't want to break off and have him tied to that line forever. I left my forceps in the shack. You got anything? Nope. All right, I can get it right here. One more wrap right there. Thanks. So okay. So we're unwrapped at least. We got a fish right there. Jesus. That was quite a stick, huh, bud? Yeah, dude. Don't mess around today. It's too cold. Thanks for reaching down there. You got that fish, it's all better. Yeah. Nice brookie. Let's take a quick look at him. He's got to be pretty good size. Yeah, that's about the one I had too. Yep. We're going to get him back down. He's probably, what, 17 or so? Oh. All of that. Pretty sure. But I'm going to try to either get that hook out or just cut it. Let's take a quick look. Oh, I can probably just cut it. All right, there he is. It's too cold to keep him out long, guys, so take a quick look at him, get him right back down. Yep. There you go. Nice, all right. Awesome. Man. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, that, that would have been a struggle. Yeah. Oh, Joe, that coffee's hotter than copper at Scrappy Eyes. <laughs> Jesus, I'm gonna burn your lips. What do you got there for a coffee cup? Well, makeshift. Yeah. Well, toddy cup. <laughs> yeah. We got some dumpsters over here. Oh dumpsters. boys. We don't go nowhere without Mr. Drive a couple sugar crescents in here. Oh yeah. There's more coffee there, fellas. It's not the worst coffee. After them chili dogs, this would be like a time. <laughs> <laughs> nope, uh, we, nope. didn't have, we didn't have to push for space today. It was nope. nice. Pretty I'm quiet. Pretty sure we got light to ourselves. <laughs> The whole thing. It's pretty bad when you don't even see the warden out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know it's cold. Mm -hmm. well, I feel better right now than the last time I was at Alice Brook, Cameron. Oh yeah, my right. God. You look a lot better, too. So. <laughs> what, what happened that day? Oh, oh a year ago, I caught the hung dog flew up here. Two years ago, was Two Februarys ago. I rented a snow pro shack from Rob over in Nugent's. I said, geez, the conditions will be decent. I had my, I had my sled like yours. I have never towed anything so hard in my life. There was Whoa. 30 inches of slush on this lake in places. And I had a buddy of mine, on Dave McCurdy. Holy cow. 350 plus. I had him on the back of the sled. You could get that thing going 30 and you'd get in one of them slush pockets and you'd be just straight to the point. You'd have to look at the ground to see if you were moving and she'd dig again and go again. It, I towed it from Nugent's to Ellis Brook right here quite a ways. Then what happened? Got the sweats, Joe, and I had to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went back to the camp. <laughs> I was sitting out on the porch, my boxer shorts hurling over the rail, and Dave McCurdy come up over the stairs. He's like, "Oh my God, he's gonna die!" <laughs> <laughs> was good. That's how deep. Twenty-eight blow. Twenty-eight blow. Yeah, sweat rolling cool. off. I said, like, "Holy man, I'm gonna." This Just in good. your boxers? Oh yeah, right on the porch. Probably the last pair of boxes at that point too. <laughs> yeah, it was. All right, she back up. Let's see what's going on here. That one took some line this time. Stripped it again. We can't even get to our bait. Will that get in there? I got an ax if we need it. Yeah, we'll probably need the ax. Okay. It's sharp, be careful. Get in there? Like that. Take your pick. Any any smell. Bigger the better. One on one. I'll take any one. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Got another flag. Brandon. Oh, is it? Is he on it? I don't know. It's no line left. Totally right to the core. Is it? 
Is the line gone? Line's gone. Ready to go. We're about to find out. Oh, okay. We, you, you got, I think you got a flag up, Brandon. Yeah, I got yeah, one up. He's got one. Some weight there. I don't know the right way, right? Yep. How's she feeling, Mark? There's some weight there. I don't know if he's just come back on it or what. What was this one, that big china? Big china, yep. Man, that, that excites me. That took some line. Peeled that jackstrap. Totally gone. Holy cow, look at all that camera. Wow. The West Graham boys know how to work as a team, I'll tell you that. It just got steady weight. Nothing. Steady's good. No tagging at all. Five pound up. rookie. Ain't the shiner, right? I don't know. I know he set the hook himself. <laughs> <laughs> You got jerkus cramp yet, Cam? Yeah. Your fingers cold? Yeah. Good tough. Was there one knot there, Cam? Uh, Mark? Uh, no. Wow. That thing made it to Telos, didn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's halfway to Nugent Street now. <laughs> Any fight? Nothing. Totally nothing. Just probably, wait. Probably big bass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Large mouth. Like burbot. That. Probably a 10 pound oh, burbot. Oh, it probably is burbot. Could be. I've seen them in here. Cusk nuggets for lunch. Oh Joe. my God. <laughs> I've never tried cusk. It's the greatest fish ever to eat. Oh, Joe must have some planko or something. Oh, yeah, I do. I can't remember how many ads are on that jack track. I guess so. Way too much. You're almost full right now. Yeah, right it's got to be close. And I'm putting it on tight too, you know. Hold on a second, It is frozen, so. Oh, oh. oh it we just got, went past we the hole. It's for real. He's coming. I, I know, know if his ice lines up with him. He's fighting like a burbot. That's old. Is that a brookie? No, that's a lake. I thought I saw it. Nice. Pretty fish though. One of the least dark lakers. That's a pretty fish. Good kiss. Nice fish. Nice one, buddy. Nice like Yeah, he's four pounder probably. Nice Good thick on. fish. Nice job, yeah. bud. Good job. I'll give you a slimy high five. <laughs> nice. nice. All right, Mark's on the board. He wanted a laker like today. So that 10 inch hole compared to the eight. Oh yeah. I like that a lot. Way better. Oh, she's turning. She turned? I know, three yards of snow in the hole. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of line missing on the track. Oh, he just went with it. Yeah. Oh, I don't want that <laughs> Don't feel laugh it. Don't on. ball it up. You feel it going. That's a job. Good job chewing on it. Yeah, mountain trail. Ooh, what you got? State record job. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Wait a little bit. I think it's a ways away. away. Holy cow. Gain him. Old trout. All right. The brookie? Yeah, brookie. Little spleeny, ain't it? Yeah. Pretty. It's got some nice colors. Yeah, I still got the smallest one drip so far, though. Do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Quick look at him. There you go. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Oh man, I can feel the trap rattling. We got three trip flags up right now. Yeah, we do. Mark's got another one. Look at that trap ripping. There's no one. 150 yards on. There's no one. Oh no. my god. Lay it right down. I'm telling you right now, she's not on bottom, fellas. This is good. Brookie? No. Laker? Yeah. Was this one of them big shiners? Huge. Biggest shiner in the bucket. That's a good thing. Heavy dead weight. Good. A wall. Head shaker? This is no two pounder, I'll tell you that much. You think you'll burn in? You want me to get my school? I'm, st I'm telling you, I'm still 100 yards away from this fish. Got another flag over there. Yeah, he's got a flag, I got a flag over there. 
one do a time. We'll get through them. Yeah. I'll be all right. That's why I put a new battery. Sorry. That's why I put a new battery in. It marks didn't come to life till it yeah, got to the hole, right? right? To the hole, man. Yeah. Once you get them off the bottom, there ain't no wall. I'll grab it. You got it. Right. You want to come to this side, or are you good? It looks like it's quite heavy. Feels good. Some tension oh. there, ain't it? Lita. Oh my oh god. My god Don't horse him. Don't horse him. Yeah! Oh Woo! Yes! What a yeah. tow! Monster! Oh, Gamer, I didn't mean to leave you hanging, buddy. Look at the size of the hook I caught this fish with. Yeah. That is a staver. It's a pretty one, too, oh, isn't it? Man. Now Look what I had oh. a fish hook by. <laughs> and that was on one of them great big pike shiners? Yeah, and that little tiny number six guy. That's why we weren't scared of that bait, Joe. Nope. Oh, what a toad. Go scales? Where's this? Nah. He's got to be over seven, right? Oh, yeah, oh, all yeah. day, ain't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a measuring device. That's creeping up on double digits. Yeah. If you want to get right. a line. I'm just waiting for you. Are you are you keeping uh, them or? I was, I was gonna like to have a couple pictures real quick. Of course, yeah. yeah. You Hold gotta give us scale. give us your hooting and hollering. Yeah, if you want. They've never heard you so quiet. Ow! Yeah, Look at that fish. Right now. He's 29. Uh, 29 incher. Good job, buddy. Are you okay? Are, are your fingers good? No, I just don't okay. want to Guys, it's so cold out here with the wind. Cameron's doing a good job keeping that fish in the water so we can get a picture Joe, just so it doesn't freeze. Keep his eyes on cold. Yeah. Might even a rubber on. Oh yeah, sure. You putting some rubbers on? Man, he looked good when he came by the hole, <laughs> didn't he? Oh my god, I thought he was 20 when he went by. But we'll take a double digit. I'm saying eight and a half. <laughs> we got two more flags to go get. I know it, at least. That's got a huge shiner on it, that one there, too. Hold him up for a picture if you want. Ready, Joe? Yep. Yeah. And then one with this, real quick. Got it. He's seven pounds. Maybe He holds his weight oh, excellent, yeah. though. See you later, big gator. Where were they? Nice one, dude. Yeah. Man. That makes it all worth it on a cold day right there. We should have two flags. flags. Yeah, we got two more. Which one are we going to do next, Mark? All right, another flag. This was a great big shiner. Oh yeah, it's up there. It's right there. Oh yes, woo -hoo -hoo. woo! Yeah, baby, I got a cask, cask nuggets. Oh my god, I cannot even believe I got a cask on that shiner. Woo! Still going. She running hard. Oh back. my gosh, that's the first one we've got to see do that. Wow, think I ought to give him a heck? That's a brookie. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think you did him. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, feels pretty decent. Whoa, oh, another stick. Oh, Either this, is, oh, 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 is it coming right at me or did I lose it? Oh man, it might have just popped off on that stick. No, it's back. This might be. It's a brookie. It's a nice brookie. Yeah. Another like 17 inches. Um, actually, this one's a little smaller. Can we get it or should I just cut it? Stop moving. If we can't get it, it's all right. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's show the camera that one. Oh, what a beauty. That that's might be the pretty, prettiest one yet. That's a pretty trout. Good job, buddy. Thanks. That helps to check your traps. I literally just reset that and, and I raised it up. That one that I caught earlier, I checked the second one, got the first one, looked back, and the second one was already up. So. I've always been a super firm believer of that anyway, just for shaking up your bait. Yep. Something washes it, you put it back down. 
Yep, and it, and it livens up your bait if your bait's just laying there acting dead. Yeah. So I, I was low on this one when I set it originally. I got like six foot of water here and I was down pretty low. I just raised it up to like three foot yep. and that's when that brookie took yep. it. So I don't know if he just saw it or just me messing with it was enough. Imagine. Can't even see the hole. I, give, I bet you it's right underneath this stick. Nothing. You go off. Yeah. So now she's on sport mode. Okay. Hit it back one more time for sport off. That's just regular. And then hit it back one more time for eco. Okay, then we'll be saving all fuel. It's saving a lot of fuel. It's a lot, lot less snappy. And it, it idles down a little, a little bit different too. Because yeah. it's pretty snappy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could lift them skis right up, no problem. Yeah, that's why I wanted that freaking turbo. <laughs> Man, it's get, it was pretty cold out here this morning. It's going to be even colder tomorrow. Right? I know it. Tomorrow's going to be brutal. Yeah, we got a flag up over here. Uh, whoever's got the flag, Mark, I think it's you with one way in. Yeah. He's not letting the hot dogs get cold. Oh, you got hot dogs ready? I was having a hot yeah. dog for her. Yeah. You want a dog, Jay? i give you the weather. No, no, thanks. I'm going to. I'm. As you come always, just in I'm, time. I'm thinking about a cup of coffee about an hour from now. Yeah. I'm thinking. Oh, you got the weather all printed out? Yeah, that's for you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yep. Yeah. You, you want a hot dog? No, thank you. You want a cup of coffee? Nope. I'm, gonna, I'm heading to coffee here. I'm going to go put them signs up and then I'm going to, same thing, I'm going to stay up on the. Get near some, yeah, get, get near some. Side there, and then head back. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Well, I got to go watch him catch this five pound brookie. That's the lucky one, too. Doing anything? I can't quite see it. Well, if you can't hear it, it ain't doing much. The line's, there's, I think there's something on there. Yep, there's one. Man, it just went up. I literally yep. watched it. It took some line. Good head shakes. Oh, that's a good Whoa! Hey. Woo! Look at him, look at nice, him get football. Right. Yeah, I'm keep him right in the water. That's a pretty fish. Is that a keeper, what do you think? Or what do you guys think? Oh, it's definitely keeper. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's got to be 19, 20. I think it's legal keep. 19? 19 inches. Nice. That's up to you, Joe. What do you say? That's your call. Ah, throw him back. That. Yeah, he there hasn't been go. out of the water long or anything. He's pooped all over you. Let's take a quick look at them. Are you? Oh, he's, that's good. Good release. Good solid fish. Nice fish, Joe. Thanks, buddy. 19 nice. incher, and he nice. was fat. He was fat through. That's a staven brookie, huh? That's, nice that's a three pound brookie. Yeah, he was probably close three pounds. Yeah. That was a brookie worth coming out of the shack for, huh? Nice. Glad I came over. Yeah, me too. What do you got going on over there? A few hot dogs. The old Jordan. Red hot dogs. <laughs> That's what we call Lewis the Lobster. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat them. Now they cost more than Lewis the Lobster. Yeah, regular lobster. really. The old propane's a little warm. You don't want to turn down much. She'll cook pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. full burnt hot dog. Just yeah. bad about ice fish. Yeah. It'll be alright. Did you get your deer this year? No. No. That's I'm... why we're eating hot dogs. Yeah, I missed one. My boy did though. That's good. Yeah, nine years old, got his first bar. Oh, nice. Yeah. What do you get? Nice little five-pointer. Nice. Great. Uh, we've been hunting at a camp for two, three days, and uh, the girl at the pine tree store in Grand Lake Stream hooked us up, land on there eat in town. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, helped us out. Came That's with, awesome. Nine years old and already got a deer. Yeah. Yeah, shot it with my grandfather's 44 mag. Perfect. Yeah. He's pretty excited. We've had him. He was seven years old. He was up in Long Lake with a derby. Me, Brandon, Dad, my uncle, cousin. And uh, 17 below. That boy's over there. He's pretty hardcore. Holy cow. We had the shack stuff, but 
<laughs> Crazy kid. Loved it. That's good. I mean, if, if you don't, you got a long winter. That boy's caught some fish. That boy's caught bigger fish than a lot of grown men. I imagine. We went. We took him to Long Lake one time. We went up Brandon Cam calling. He had a uh, five pound salmon at the Long Lake. Wow. With a five weight fly rod. Wow. That boy had quite a package right there. That must have been a fight. <laughs> yeah. Yo, oh, Louis Lobs is coming to the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> What are you gonna say, Bob? Still better than Kyle's cooking. <laughs> yeah. What happened? We uh, left him. I, I lost track of time. I just tried to warm him up. I, I had oh, them perfect. Oh man, <laughs> them were perfect. Oh enough. man. You know the worst part? I put my roll on it too and forgot about that for a tattoo. <laughs> I'd take that in one if I was you. Yeah, I it. don't care which one. Any? Nice one, buddy. Good Laker. Let's get him back. Nice one, Brandon. We'll give you guys a midday update. We got, geez, how many fish we at now, fellas? Two burbot. I got two brookies and a burbot. I got three brookies and a burbot. So that's four. You got three. That's seven. Brandon's got two fish, nine. Mark's got... Two, I got three two, fish, two lakers. Eleven. I got two two you lakers two and lakers, a brookie. Two brookies. Yeah. What I yeah, said. Yeah, two brookies. I had a small brookie and then the brookie you got on video. Oh. Oh. So, you know, guys, on a day like today, it's really a lot of people aren't motivated to check their bait, clean the holes, and move traps. But that's why we're having such a productive day is we're out there checking our stuff. And every time you check a bait, you know, you lift it up and it makes it active again. And you know, I had one smelt that was up above my reel. Smelt can do some really ugly stuff to your fluorocarbon. Sure can. Yeah, and then yeah. I reset it and within 10 minutes caught a nice brookie. So we're checking our gear, which is huge. And you know, a lot of people on a day that's super cold, I've seen people not check their stuff till night and they got to chip through an inch and a half of ice yeah. and uh, don't have any bait on. So if you're going to be out here battling the elements, you might as well catch some fish, right? Yeah, sure. work stop, hard. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I like fishing with these these guys. They might look ugly and be rough as all heck, but, <laughs> <laughs> but they can get fish and, and they can fish with the best of them and out fish anybody. <laughs> nice one. Swallow it. You swallow it? Yeah. Not too bad. We got a couple more flags. You don't mind if we catch those fish first, do you? You don't mind if we catch those fish, do you? What's happening? Is it Kyle? Yeah. Joe. Yeah. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is tropical compared to what we're getting tomorrow. Any weight? Some weight there. That looks like a decent. Oh, decent one. Oh, yeah. Dark in the pocket. You swallow it? I got you. Do you swallow it? I don't know yet. You want a Laker for dinner? No, nah, look at the lice on it. Yep. What is Bunch it? Bunch of lice. Five right there, six, seven. There you go, got some hook back. Nice. 20, 23 in? Yeah, probably nice. Yeah, that's not much water here, do you? Oh, oh yeah. five on this one. This is the drop off here. Uh, you mind if we get one more? Uh -huh. <laughs> We're probably the only birds out here today, aren't we? That snow is the only thing saving you. I know it. It snows up quick, but it's... Whose is this one? You, Mark? Oh my god, there's no line left. That thing just went up, too. Peel, man. 
these toga have been coming in numbers like like nothing for an hour four flags you guys left that flag up right that's my flag yeah mine's up too it needs bait anything else off the fish well, let's see what that spool looks like before you get started. <laughs> uh, there was a bunch of line on it. Make sure you go the right way. Yeah. Hey, don't show them those fish. <laughs> <laughs> the cut. I'm actually gonna, just talking about eating them. I'm going to try one. Yeah. I've never tried it, have you? I've heard people try them unintentionally. They didn't know what they were. Yeah. <laughs> people didn't know what they were and tried them, and I guess they're kind of mushy. Huh? That's what I said. I was worried about them being mushy. But I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna use them for pike bait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any size? It's been a cold, miserable day, but we've caught a lot of fish. We'd never been up Alagash Lake before. Wine marker. Last oh, night. There, yeah. You got a mess started. Oh. It's like you pulling pretty hard. Uh, yeah. like what a brookie! Yeah, right. Demo's <laughs> <laughs> he good. Oh, it's right there, actually. That's kind of a pretty one, huh? Yeah, you'll let's, get that. Let's get a quick look at him before you send them back. Yep. All right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, he's, he yeah that was a fat one. Nice looking fish, ain't that? All right, I think we're good now, right? Maybe, for a minute. As long as our inside yeah, ones aren't up. Freaking thumb thaw, though. Oh. Well, you want to see some paperwork? Yeah, I got the 20 day. Yeah, because I 20 day registration because I my town office was closed. I picked it up. I picked it up. Uh, let's see, Saturday. Yeah, that's my other sled. Like it pretty good. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I've never had a new anything in my life. There's the tiny day. Okay. Four from there. Yeah, finish. Yeah. Thank you. And that's my trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't even get a chance to use it. Then yeah. I then I came right up here yesterday and yesterday was the first time it ran. Really? Yeah. I still still see the sticker on the track. So it makes me brand Does new. it? Cameron's is brand new too, the black yeah. one. He, he just got his. Yeah. Another buddy of mine just picked his up. He's coming up the end of the week. Oh, yeah. I figure if I'm gonna hang out with all these rich guys, I better look at the park oh, too. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. We just don't want to be pulling you out of the slush no more. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll have that many years. Well, that's gonna conclude the fishing part of the day. It is dropping like a rock. We had negative nine degrees mercury and then 20 to 35 mile an hour winds so that makes the the real feel pretty cold but we made it we had an awesome day of fishing put some really nice fish on the ice and uh yeah don't have a lot to show for a couple casks but we are gonna head her back we got what do we got about 10 12 mile rides yeah, we're eight all day. Yeah, eight miles. About eight. Log dam's about ten. So we're around eight. Eight back to the ranch, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna unload a few things. I'm gonna run back to my ranch, get it squared away, make sure the heater's going before I try that at eight at night, and then I'm gonna come back and have some dinner with the boys. So that's the plan, guys. Stay tuned for the moose loin, and then what else are we gonna have? Scallops. Scallops. Cast nuggets, nuggets and some Texas toast. Yeah. Big, big All right, I am back to my ranch, back to my tent. I'm gonna have dinner with the boys, but I wanted to come back here first and change into some dry socks. My boots got wet from the inside today from sweating, and I really should have had another pair of socks in my tote sled in the snowmobile. So I'm gonna throw another pair in tonight just so they're always in there. Uh, it would have been nice just to have had dry socks about midday. I would have changed them out. I wanted to come back here, make sure my heater's working. Tonight's like, a critical night it could be dangerous if things aren't 
if everything's not working well. So I wanted to make sure that my tent didn't blow away, that my heater's going, that everything's in order, not wet, and everything's dry so that I can sneak back out, have dinner with the boys, and then come all the way back in, and things will be set up and ready to go and, and ready for a nice, safe night. It's going to get really cold tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if it hits 20 below zero tonight. We saw, like, negative nine today with... Uh, 20 to 30 mile an hour winds. The wind has died down, which is a really good thing. So I'm going to get changed into some dry clothes, get my Eskimo bibs starting to dry out so they're ready to go for tomorrow, put my clams on for the ride back and forth, and uh, should be dry and warm for that ride, as warm as I can be. Well, we ain't having cusk nuggets tonight. Those things are frozen rock solid, 100% all the way through to the core. I thought I'd be able to fillet them up, take the back straps out of them, but I just hit them with a knife and they, they're they rock solid and they're kind of twisted too. So rather than force it and cut my finger or something dumb, I'm going to have to try to thaw them out to eat them or have to eat them when I get home. It's eight down on the lake. A below zero, yeah. yeah. I yeah, below zero. Yep. Yeah. Feels she, like it. She's gonna be raw, and she she's dropping. <laughs> the coyotes were howling. I don't think they're howling to talk to each other. I think they were. <laughs> I think they were complaining. <laughs> Turn the heat back on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine living out there, <clears throat> sleeping out there at night. Oh my. God. Oh yeah. Not pleasant. Just yeah. like you. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a lot coming. Yeah, we actually do. Oh, yeah. Uh, Look at the size of them skulls. We have some gout, so. Yeah, a little garlic on there, we're home. What you got there, Brandon? Oh my word, Joe. This this is the nightcap right here. Little onion, four moose burgers. And we're gonna smother them with a little bacon and cheese. Then we're headed back to camp to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll all be sleeping. Good, yeah, good night, yeah. Irene. Oh. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Oh, I got them scattered everywhere. Well, thanks a bunch, guys, for dinner. That was as good as it gets right there. Oh, man. Delicious. And the appetizers. Look at that rig. That's a load of logs right there. Yes. Oh, Holy cow. Look at them dragging. Those weren't cut up here. Those are too big to be cut up here. That was some big axe handles there, Joe. There's some big wood up here, Yeah, not much. Brandon's preheating his bed, I think. It's cold out here, fellas. Looks like I drug it through the mud. Alright. Got the water. The water already froze up. Sweet, made it back. It's pretty chilly in here. We're at 10 below zero right now on the mercury. That's pretty chilly. It's probably, I don't think it's much warmer in here to be honest with you. I'm gonna get the coffee ready. So everything's pretty well ready in the morning for just a push button and we'll go from there. The boys are gonna come down and meet me down here in the morning. We're gonna do some lake trout fishing and it's gonna be pretty brutal cold. It's 10 below right now. I gotta believe by morning it's gonna be closer to 20 below. And then if it blows windy at all tomorrow, we got some trouble. So we'll just be careful, be smart. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Just an amazing day. We had some incredible fish catches. They say that a 19-inch brookie, you know, probably in that three-pound range is a really good fish. Brandon caught that nice togue, and Mark caught five pretty solid togue. We probably averaged over four pounds each on those, and Cameron caught three brookies off camera, and he had a great day, too. He caught one of his better, better brookies that he's ever caught, so... All in all, pretty awesome day for a tough weather day. The game warden came out and checked us. That was pretty cool. Had a couple really good conversations with him. He said we were the only people on this whole chain of lakes today because the weather was so rotten. So that kind of makes you feel a little bit better about, you know, 
I, I don't know if it does or not. You know, I don't know how that makes you feel, but I'm getting ready for, for bed. I got hot cup of tea over here. I'm probably going to hammer on that. Expecting some serious cold temps tonight. I usually just shut the heater off. I might leave it on for a little while. We'll see how it goes. If I can get snuggled in that bed, all snug and warmed up. But I went out and got another blanket to throw on top. I didn't need it but last night but with tonight i'd rather have it not need it than need it not have it because it's gonna it's gonna be cold we'll see what the number finally is um it's exciting a little bit to be honest with you to see how cold it's actually gonna get and it's a challenge to kind of push my comfort level and and also to push myself into some new areas it'll be interesting to see how cold it gets and hopefully i feel good when you guys are doing this like the like I get pretty snuggled into my sleeping bag. I get snugged in there pretty good. The only thing, I can't keep my head in there because it just doesn't feel right breathing in there and the air is not great. Exposed is my face and my head. So a lot of times I'll wear a hooded sweatshirt on a super cold night and pull the hood over or I'll have like a, uh, a wool hat or a winter hat like that. And hopefully that stays on all night. If it doesn't, you usually wake up with a cold head and put the hat back on. But I'm going to read a little bit again tonight before bed. This one is called Spiked Boots. It's uh, it's all about North Country, Maine, logging history. And this is the same author that wrote that one. I really liked the author's name's Robert E. Pike. And he wrote a really good one called Tall Trees, Tough Men. And it was about these very lakes and the log drives and the trains, which I'm hoping to show you guys later in the week, that are landlocked in between these lakes and some really cool stuff so a lot of the stuff i'm reading in this book currently also has to do with this body of water so it's kind of cool just being on the body of water and reading about the history of it you know in the middle 1800s or early 1800s even into the 1900s with log drives and the logging history so i'm gonna read that for a little while i don't think i'm gonna make it very long i'm pretty worn out and these really cold days when you're outside in them, you know, windy days take a lot out of you when you're ice fishing, usually knocks you out at night, and then the cold days can really knock it out of you too, so that and a really good full belly with the boys, that was one heck of a dinner tonight. I don't think I'll last very long, but I'm going to read a little bit, and then next time you see me, hopefully it'll be in the morning. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Check out next episode to see what happens tomorrow on the coldest day of the year. Not a drop hit the ground. That's what happens when you throw boiling water into the air at negative 22 degrees. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good, he's solo. Whoa. Uh oh. Were they right behind you? That's not good. You can't mess around on a day like today. I, got, I just gotta put my jacket on. You wanna run back and see what's up? Yeah, put that up. All right, if you're not, if you don't come back here in 10 minutes, I'll come find you. Were you hammering? All right, uh, if you're not back, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just put my jacket on, I'll follow you. Cause we can't frig around with this type of weather. If somebody's hurt, every second counts. Brandon just ran back to see where the boys are. They were right behind them, two legs back, so. Something must be wrong or they met up with somebody. So he headed right back. I'm gonna head out behind them to see if everybody's okay, see if I can help, make sure nothing's wrong. <laughs>